Kia ora, guys, gals and legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Frost. Now, we are not where we were when we ended the last episode. And up the top right hand corner of the screen, I'm going to start doing a time lapse of sorts to go over a issue that I had recording the last episode. Now, episode 7, as I recorded it before, was the final episode I recorded before I left to go on holiday. However, the audio, that's my microphone, what I'm talking into right now, was horrific. It was scratchy, it was staticky, and it was not usable whatsoever. Ever. So unfortunately that episode as it stands is going to be this time lapse that you see up in the top right hand corner. A number of things did go down in that episode. We were continuing to fight the infection as best we could. A lot of the episode was spent sleeping. We're actually a number of days into the series now because we were trying to sleep through the infection because it does go away naturally over time. However, that has made us very, very hungry and there were points in the last episode that we were actually taking damage from being so hungry and that combined with the infection brought us very very close to death and uh, well we were lucky enough to come across some food a very very small amount of food but just enough to keep us alive but it did come with a cost we had to do a lot of killing in the station that we're in currently and I'll do my best to show that to you up the top right hand corner because it was a hell of a fight and Raphael, well, poor Raph, he's certainly going to be suffering the effects from that for a long period of time. He well and truly has been pushed to the edge of what he is capable of to survive. But we will not be giving up yet. No, we are going to continue. We are going to fight until his dying breath. And I really do hope that isn't going to be this episode. And so I offer you my sincere apologies for mucking up the last episode as much as I did. But I hope that this has been able to give you a basic idea of what we actually accomplished in the last. And I have talked for long enough. It's now time for us to dive on in. Alrighty, and the first thing we are going to do is we are going to jump straight on into our Pip Boy. Thank you to everyone that has uh, recommended the Pip Pad, but I just feel like it's a mod that we don't need to have installed right now, and I feel like the less mods that we're running with, just it's it's going to be the better for now. So we're going to go with that if we can. Um, so I'm going to try and run down what's happened as much as possible. As you can see, we are now using a bladed tire iron as our main weapon. It deals 50 damage and it has a medium speed to it. Those of you that are eagle eyed will know that the weapon that we picked up recently, the pipe gun, is different between episodes. I had to bring that back in using the console because it just straight up disappeared out of my inventory. I have removed all mods that have been affecting containers because I think that's actually what it's doing because I was trying to use a mod that was making containers permanent so that meant that we could essentially use any container as a permanent kind of storage device for us but that doesn't seem to be working and our chem station has been working I don't know what was going on when I was first testing the game and I had stuff disappearing on me but that hasn't happened yet so we're going to run with it if we do lose things I will just bring them back in because I feel like it's an unfair loss for us to lose those things through you know through bugs in the game unfortunately i didn't give us back the same gun it isn't the same one i tried to get it back i thought it was the same one but it isn't so that's frustrating but uh, we're just gonna have to live with it for now it is the same kind of class of gun it's not as powerful it's a 38 rather than a 308 but there's nothing we can do there i have brought the combat shotgun along for us because we have two shells for it uh we have a we have a fragmentation grenade as well i know that i have used some uh of our grenades i've used them in combat in here to kind of clear this area out and it is clear we have actually killed everyone that's down here which does mean our sanity is going to be lacking a fair amount and i'm gonna jump in and have a look at the perk chart as well because it, again it's been two weeks since i've played there's a chance that i am going to be going over things that we did already uh as you can see we have hunter i'm pretty sure that we knew that but we also have big leagues which is going to allow us to do 20 percent more damage with melee weapons so that is going to be decent for us to have at the very least. And in terms of the episodes as well, 
there's been some awesome feedback on this and I am going to be creating more episodes. We're going to be looking at doing four episodes a week. I'm going to be sticking to the half an hour mark. This one is going to be a little bit over because obviously there is this explanation period that I've been going through just before we kind of get started again. So that's not going to kind of cut into the episode time. So you don't need to worry about that. I will attempt to make them longer eventually, but we're just going to take baby steps for now. I think half an hour is still pretty good. It works out well for us. Uh, but when I do explanations like this, I'm not going to have those cut into the episode time itself. So we also have our Caltrops with us, which are still very, very useful. And nothing else has really changed here. We are running with the jumpsuit that we managed to pick up down by the vault. There is no way into the vault right now. Unfortunately, that is all locked and loaded. And we have a decent number of um, bits and pieces with us. Uh, we have some moldy food here, which can actually uh, give us some hunger, but at the same time, it knocks back our HP. Um, so something that we might try and do is if we have a look and see what our HP is at at the moment, it's at 39, so it's not very good. It's not very good at all. What we might try and do is just have some of that moldy food now, take the HP hit, and then try and sleep. Um, Status-wise, things aren't super great for us as well. We still have the infection that we're dealing with. We have insomnia, which is making us require more sleep. You can see we're ravenous and we're mildly dehydrated. So all in all, things aren't super great for Raphael. They haven't got any better. We've essentially spent a lot of time sleeping more than anything. I am going to go into data just so that we can actually see the date here. As you can see, we have advanced a number of days, essentially just sleeping in this bed here, trying to survive, trying to make our way through this as best as possible. Now, there are hospitals and things on the surface, the surface is still a very scary place for Raphael, and I think the idea of just beelining straight to one will... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this roleplay at the same time, so I think we are going to try and wait it out down here as best we can, but at the same time, obviously, we are suffering the effects of, you know, us losing our hunger. We are going to become hungrier and hungrier, and, um, well, we're not a cannibal yet. And I think we're going to be trying to stay away from that as long as we can, because Raphael, I feel like it's holding on to that integrity. Something else that I wanted to talk about, and I don't know if I talked about it as well, is that obviously I screwed up the dates. Uh, the bombs have only dropped five years ago, so Raphael would have been a lot older. Uh, when the bombs dropped, he wouldn't have been a school child. Uh, so that's not his jam. He wasn't. Um, but uh, yeah, physical activity is definitely his thing. I almost imagine maybe he could have been a gym teacher or something of like beforehand. And that could have been it. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe look into his past a little bit more if he does survive through this, but this is a slow death that Raphael is going through at the moment, and um, it's not great. It's not great. What we might end up trying to do is trying to make our way back home just to be able to drop off a few things, but right now, sleeping in this bed, which is a clean bed, I feel like is probably going to be one of the best things that we could do. So we are going to take a hit of that moldy food. As we can see, we did take some rads from that, and that has also dropped our HP down, but that would have helped us out with our hunger a little bit. We are going to go to sleep, and apparently um, we can, there is a mod that we can get, and I might look at doing this, which does allow us to just save using this here and not having us sleep for that duration. But we're probably going to go and sleep for a full six hours here. It's 1.14 at the moment. We're going to sleep and we're going to see what kind of condition we are in when we wake up. Probably not an amazing one. If I had to guess... Oh, we got lethargy. Okay, so that's not super great. Our health isn't back at 100%. Um, okay, so that drops our AP refresh down as well, so not great. We still have the infection as well. So the question is, do we keep on sleeping as we are now, or do we try and push on? See, the infection is going to knock us back more and more. What's a, why, and here's the thing. The infection isn't going to kill us. It's going to get us down to being as weak as possible, so we could continue on to try and find some food. And you know what? I feel like we're just going to have to do that. Um... The question, and the thing is, once we do get that final hit and we actually start taking periodic damage from food, that is when we know we're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. Um, yeah. So, not great news for us. Now, we do have the option of heading up this way here. I am going to check the machines and the infection spreads, okay? And we do actually have a nuka cola there. I am going to go ahead and drink that right away, just so that we can deal with a little bit of our thirst, if we can. Apparently, it's a game feature, them turning up there. It's just a perfectly normal thing, so... 
I didn't know that. Um, we are going to be taking some rads from that as well, so we are going to be losing more health because of that <laughs> at the same time. We're still mildly dehydrated. I am going to have another look around up the top here to make sure that I haven't missed out on any food because the chances are I could have, potentially. So we need to be certain that there isn't anything else. And you know what? There is actually a whole heap of stuff here. Uh, do I want to drink it all right now, though? Probably not. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. Um, yeah, I haven't missed anything on you guys, have I? No. I don't think we have. No. Yeah. Okay, so... And this is where I got moldy food from. And I really don't think there is anything else around here that we are going to be able to use. Do we have a lantern? We do have a lantern on us. Okay. A Braxo cleaner, while useful, we don't need it right now. And apparently I hadn't actually opened that. Bubble gum. Um, is that going to count as food? It might. Hell, we'll eat it. Bubble gum. Gives us rads, but it also gives us sanity. Actually gives us some sanity back. Okay, let's have some bubble gum. I guess that actually, yeah, it counted as food. Uh, we are probably still ravenous, though. I don't think that that's going to knock us down. I'd be very, very surprised if it did. But that's keeping us off you know, us straight up dying. So if we can have a, you know, a look out for things like that, then that'll be awesome. Um, the chances are I have missed a few things along the way. Now, I know some of you were trying to tell me where I did miss some food. I try not look at those comments just because if I missed it, then Raphael missed it. And, oh, that Nuka Cola is so tempting to take because that's going to be our... Um, you know, at the very least, that's going to be our thirst taken care of. And you know what? We're going to we're going to try and do that for now. I'm going to go back. We're going to have the rest of that nuka there, which means that we are going to take some rads from it. But yeah, too much cannot run. So we're going to go ahead and drink that. It's not going to kill us, but um, it is going to make us weaker. Have the nuka. Hey, look at that. We're still thirsty. So it's actually knocked us down a little bit. And we're just parched. Okay, we'll have one more. Okay, and the caffeine is actually going to help us stay awake for a little bit here. We're, we're actually properly hydrated for like the first time in a very long time. Uh, however, as you can see, we're still ravenous. So that is something that we need to contend with. We're on 2 HP right now, so it's not good. The infection isn't going to kill us. It's, this is the best of my understanding. It's not going to kill us. But it is going to keep us in this very, very weakened state. Uh, but, you know, frost is kind of a one-hit kill thing already. It just means that we can't get hit by anything. Uh, and that makes me very, very nervous. Um, I, let's, let's have a quick look around here, because I know I haven't explored everything. And I'm probably going to want to do that. Hello. Okay, Skull Station. Mm, no. You know what? We're okay. We don't want to do that. I am wanting to just investigate this area a little bit further. At the same time, not taking too much time. Hello, friend. What do you have for me? We've got four bobby pins, so I'd rather us not lose them. Oh, we have some joy there. Okay, looks like it's going to be back up this way a little bit more. Come on, Raph, you got this, my friend. Oh, we're close. It's pretty much straight vertical. And it is. What do you have? Oh, a teddy bear. Okay, so that's actually going to have some leather for us. That's why it's tempting to take it. But as you can see, we're not looking super amazing right now on everything that we have. Now, there probably are a few things here that I don't need to have on us right now. And uh, we're going to take the emergency flare. I don't know how that's going to work, if it's going to work like a Molotov or what. But um, yeah, let's see if there's anything else that we can get rid of. Um, we're going to go ahead and sort the whole inventory by weight, just to see if there's anything that I can live without. The shotgun I brought because I was like, it's going to be good to have it just in case. We still have the spiked baseball bat. We might as well just drop that for now. And I'd rather take the teddy bear because it's a, this is a slow weapon. We've got a medium one that does more damage. And um, some of you have been saying, you know, maybe we should actually look at using something lighter because quite often speed, if we're getting headshots, it's going to be usually enough to kill something. So yeah, I think it's worth us keeping that in mind. Um, I don't think there was anything else there that we could get that could actually help us out. And... Um, I feel like we've kind of exhausted this area. Now, I know many of you do want me to go to the surface, but there are some major, major dangers with us doing that, and um, it can end up very, 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 very bad. Now, these are all the people that Raphael took out, and took out, you know, pretty decently well. I'm hoping that I actually did manage to show you enough of it, and we've actually got some dirty water there, so... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, did... 
Okay, yeah, and the infection's spreading, so that probably has put us onto... No, onto two health. So we're going to take the nanny boy, we're going to take the dirty water, which I'm, I feel like I've actually seen those. I feel like we've seen those and we've taken them, so I don't know why it's repopulating, but we're going to take it. Same thing with the gas can, I know that we did actually take that at one point. Okay. Dandy boy apples, it's going to give us some rads, but it is going to give us some hunger. And we didn't see that change at all, so we are still ravenous. No surprises there. None whatsoever. Okay. We're here in the breeze. And for playing Fuller, I know... <laughs> um, okay. Do I want to do it? I Honestly, we don't have much choice here. I feel like we need to take that risk. Is, are they hiding anything beneath that? No. Worth, worth checking, though. Okay, so we're only on two health here. But I think we're going to do it. We're going to go through. I'm going to see what's on the other side. Could be very, very bad for us. Okay. All right. We've got someone there. It's an actual person. And some of you have made some very, very good points. Uh, we don't have to fight every fight, you know? We can just run past someone, but it looks like they've actually got some... They've potentially got some food there, but there's more than one. And that's maybe an issue. Now, we do have a fragmentation grenade. What I'm asking myself now is, do I want to spend a fragmentation grenade here? I don't know. They could be armed. If they pull out guns, I'll be very unimpressed. Let's have a look. We could use the flare... The only issue with that is that I really don't know how decent this is going to be. Or how much spread it's got. Because it could just be, it's going to set on fire what it actually hits. Oh, that's that's way too tempting. That is way too tempting. And it looks like there's actually three people there and you've got a freaky ass face. You know what? We're going to use the fragmentation grenade here. I'm going to try and plop right down. Who's there? Okay, come on. Okay, Survivor, I'm going to swap back over to the Caltrops. Okay. I think that's good. Let's see. Two, three. Okay. Are we alone? I think we are. Now, this better be worth it. Please, please, please. We just killed these people, so... I feel a little guilty about it. You do look freaky as hell. Okay, uh, Fungal Purge, we're going to take that. Because we're probably going to need to take that. Oh, come on. Okay, we've got some rounds. Oh, no. I can, I can, I can feel his desperation now. I can feel it strongly. And the thing is, like, he's trying to be moral in a sense, you know. But at the same time, obviously, he's obviously murdering people. But he's, he's holding on to that thread of not actually eating people. He, he doesn't want to stoop. He doesn't want to fall to that level. But that might be actually be what kills him. Well, we've gone and invested that. Okay. Two more people standing by the flames, or actually standing almost in the flames. Okay. Yep. I know. Infection's gonna keep us super, super weak. And I, I am using the light right now, just because I want to make sure that we're actually checking for traps. We're going to explore this way first, because um, we can actually see that there aren't any people here for now. And I'm okay with that. i tell you what, it is... Oh, oh, is that a mine? I think it is. Holy crap. On a teddy bear. I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's like a little remote detonator. That is terrifying. Okay, well, can I move by you? I think I'm going to move by quick. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Looks like we're coming up to more friends. So we're going to go here. We're going to turn that lamp off. Because that actually... Sorry. That's our, that's our, our mining hat that we have. Oh, you look like you are equipped. Oh, you are. Okay, you've got a board. We could try and lure him out, you know? If he's if he's alone... Damn, that actually looks like some pretty decent armor. Not so... different from our own. I think he... Oh, he's not alone. 
Okay, we've got the caltrops. We can use them. Stay in the darkness. Stay in the darkness. Okay, get the shit. Who is that? You know what? We could try and use the bear. Ha! Oh. Ah, hey! 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 Come on! I don't know if they're actually gonna be able to see me here. Oh, it's on! Come on! Bring it then. Show me what you got. If you're so strong, jump down. Huh? Yeah? You wanna go? Yeah, come on. After you. Okay. Alright. Yeah? Not so tough now. You gonna keep on talking crap? Huh? I've done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? I do. I think this is gonna be your last time. Because we need this stuff more than you. I know you don't think that, but it's the truth. Well, there's a cook station. That's kind of... No. Come on. You're by yourself? Okay, come on. Uh, okay? Come on! Oh! Oh, it's got bleed. It's got bleed. Okay, okay. I was very confused then because I was like, uh... What? <laughs> Why are you telling me that my health is low? Did we lose it? We didn't lose any health. That's okay. Our torso is actually almost broken. Okay, good to know. Okay, but this has bleed on it as well, which is fantastic. That's good news for us. Okay, so let's go have a look at this real quick. Antiseptic? I don't think we can just use antiseptic as it is. No, we can't. But uh, we're going to take it because that's a very valuable thing for us to have. Combat armor, okay. Green shirt and combat boots. This gives us charisma and endurance. It doesn't give us anything else, but it's um, it's you know, it's it's tempting. Pocketed. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're talking. And we've got a sturdy girded left leg and a wire left arm. So the wire stuff, where that can be useful, is it's quite light. But uh, having a look at those, we want to have a look and see what we have on our right arm currently. Okay, so we've got the sturdy metal painted right arm, but you know what? I feel like I'm almost willing to take the pocketed over there, or, or am I? Having some more carrying capacity could be good, but at the same time, protecting ourselves, protecting those arms is super important. Um, yeah, that ain't easy to decide. Um, as for our chest piece, we're looking at 14 and 7 for 9 weight. Okay. This, that's just straight up better. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So we're going to drop the metal chest piece. We're going to take the combat armor. Uh, I, I don't think I can equip it straight from here, so that's fine. Um, sturdy, good at left leg. So we're on painted metal right leg. Oh, sorry, left leg, rather. So this is going to be... It's actually heavier. It's much heavier. That's not going to work out for us, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have to stick with what we have there. And uh, heavy metal over there as well. So uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy stuff. Um, I'm tempted. I'm almost tempted to go for the wire and kind of build upon the wire mesh. But I think we're just going to stick with what we have for now. It's good to know all those things are there. But we are going to quickly jump into there and chuck that on us so that we actually do have that on. It's not disappearing. I'm right here. I'm still right here. Come on. You're just going to stay down there, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, I am. Ooh, okay, good block. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. I don't think that uh, flight helmet's going to be much use anymore. <laughs> uh, apparently it still is. Uh, but that 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 is not going to be as good as what we have. We're going to take the fungal purge. As you can see, it takes off rads, but it takes off a decent amount of HP, and it also takes off your sanity, which is not good. Not, not good. No. Uh, so having a look at this, shadowed, leaded, shadowed left leg. That sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. And the heavy combat armor, great, but it does weigh so much more. And right now, I, you know, I kind of do like the idea of turning Raphael into something of a tank in terms of how his armor is set up. But at the same time, we need to be careful of what we are actually taking. The road leathers, now that is tempting. I don't know if we can modify them, though, is the only thing. Whereas with the jumpsuit, we can modify that. 
we aren't getting damage resistance, but we are getting energy and radiation resistance, and you know what, maybe that's actually gonna be better for us right now. But we're gonna take this. It's a left leg, weight is seven, uh, so it's a lot more than that, uh, but it's shadowed, so it's gonna make us less visible. So we're gonna go here and drop that off, we're gonna take the leaded one, oh, that puts us really close to being over encumbered. Now, if I go back and get the pocketed right arm, we might actually be able to go ahead and wear that. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly move on back up there. And we shall grab that from you, good sir. Uh, well, that is my mistake. I did not mean to do that. What did we actually grab from you then? <laughs> um, so we got the leaded left leg. Okay. Pocketed. Boom. Go ahead, drop that. So that actually brings us up to 95. And I'm okay with that. Obviously, our, you know, our arm is a lot more vulnerable now, but... Um, you know, our other body parts, they're a little bit more protected than they were before. Now, we did accidentally pick up something there. It was a Tyrone. We're going to go drop that off. And we're going to head back down to you, and we're going to essentially try and figure out whether or not it is worth us taking this heavy combat armor. So, we're at 15.15. How much do you give us? 35.35. It's, it's, it's double, but it's also a lot heavier. So, question is, can we actually do that? Can we make that work? We can, just... Okay, well, we'll go ahead and wear it, because, um, that's, that's a lot of damage resistance we're getting from that. And right now, I'm okay with that. So, we're going to leave the rest of what he has there, and we're going to hope that they have some food and or medication. Am I hearing whispers? Like, I feel like... No, there definitely is someone else around here. Okay, good to know. But look, we've got two backpacks, and I did actually spot this before the just after. The hardest part is the just after. You're still in shock. Actually, I'm in shock. You're still in shock, right? You're trying to wrap your head around it, but you can. You just can. They say time heals all wounds, and I'm inclined to believe them, but for now, it hurts beyond words. I know I should stand up, brush myself off, keep going. But damn, how? How do I even put myself back together? How do we put the world back together? Can we at all? Guess we just have to wait until we'll pass this just after. Damn. I feel like that would legitimately make Raphael sorrowful for killing this guy. Because maybe it was him that, that wrote this and before these burnt textbooks, you know, maybe he was very much like Raphael. Maybe he was a teacher before. Just trying to survive, but it's the same thing. Raphael is just trying to survive. There's nothing hidden up here, but we do have a door. I'm inclined to see what's behind it, but I think before we do, we're just going to have a quick look at this. Okay, we can make some boiled water. That's good to know. We can actually make a bandage as well, but we're probably going to hold off doing that. Okay, yeah, boiled water takes a lot to make. God damn. And, uh, that's just boiled. It's not purified. It's just boiled. Uh, hang on. Have a look at everything else. Make sure that there's nothing else. It will come up highlighted. It will tell us if there is something we can make. Do we want to make a bandage right now? Small health regen for five minutes. Really, there's no point in us doing that. The only reason it would be worth us doing that is if we actually start suffering uh, from severe hunger, which right now, we're not. We do have some adrenaline right now, which is good. We're caffeinated. But we have lethargy, insomnia, and an infection. So, all kinds of nice things. And, yeah, we can't actually even use that door. So, we've reached, we've reached the end of the line here. There's nothing else that we can do. I just want to be sure that I haven't... I said the end of the line, but we've actually got down there we can go to. And I think that's what we're going to do. But no, there is no food here. There's nothing for us. And we're heading further and further away from home right now. There's nothing else on you that I'm going to want. But, uh... Okay. We've got a toolbox, and it looks like it's actually... There's some light through there. Alright. Duct tape and scissors. We're going to take the duct tape. I'm going to leave the rest for now. Uh, all these materials I am going to want to come back for. Okay, let's actually peek inside here. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks like their federation, maybe. Okay, if we can get inside, I'll be happy with that. Four bobby pins. Let's not lose one. Okay. Is it? I thought it was movement then. Actually, kind of is, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
Okay, down a little bit more. Nope, it's going to be up. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, now let's be very, very careful. As there still could be traps. Okay, what do you have? You've got a dollar, you've got an advanced pipe bomb, you've actually got some more antiseptic. Nice. Okay, so we'll take the we'll take the money. We'll take the advanced pipe bomb as well. That's uh if we do need to clear out a whole heap of people, I would very much like to use that. Federation fatigues. Now that's it's it's tempting. We can't wear that underneath everything else though. Correct? Well, I mean I'll I'll see if we can. If we if we can, it could be worth it. Wrap around goggles. I don't know whether or not we can wear those. Well, actually, no, with the gas mask, we can't. That, that's not going to be a thing. Uh, same thing with the bandana. But the fatigues, I'm tempted to take to see if we can. I'm looking at it. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think it would be strange if we could. So, Federation fatigues. We'll take them for now. I'm sorry for leaving you in a state of undress. Uh, yeah, it's going to remove everything. So, we're just going to go drop that back down on the ground. The infection is spread. As it does. Okay, service tunnel key. Oh, we have the key to this. We found where it goes. I feel such a great sense of accomplishment from that. Actually finding it. Not using a walkthrough or anything. It's great. I, I, it's, you know, it's the little things in life. Um, let's see what we have here, though. This is just a straight up open. So let's have a quick peek inside. See what we're looking at. It looks like this is going to lead somewhere else entirely. But we do have some bottles. Okay, we've got a sleeping mat. Just some ale. <gasps> oh my god, yes! A freaking steak! Salisbury steak! Raphael, tonight you are eating like a king. I say tonight. What is, what is the time? We don't we don't have sunlight here. We don't know. It's 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 midday. So at lunch. Tonight you're going to lunch like a king. All right. Uh, the echoes they are creepy. Okay, so roast. We're gonna go down to more cooked Salisbury steak. Bam, done. Cooked. Let's go ahead and eat the sucker, and hopefully we will get out of being ravenous. I'm crossing my damn fingers there, because this is going to be the thing that kills us here. Okay, uh, cooked Salisbury steak. Nada. We get rads, but we're still ravenous. The, the positive out of this that we have to look at is that it does bring us closer to being... Hmm. It brings us closer to being out of uh, the red zone so to speak. Uh, now, do we want to keep on heading that way or heading this way? We, f we found food this way, so I think we're going to keep at it just for a little bit longer until we encounter people. And then we're going to turn our tail and come back. But we just need to keep those eyes peeled. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is a really interesting setup. Doctoring and souvenirs. It looks like they actually tried to set up some kind of settlement here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Sorry, but I'm just like... The, oh, both of those things, great. But uncooked cram? <sighs> Legit. Just super happy with life right now. For the first time in a long time. In, in, in this. <laughs> no, 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 not in real life. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, guys and gals. I'm doing alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we're actually parched now. Uh, we are going to head back. We're going to have that cram, which is going to take more rats, but it's going to get us a little bit further out of um, being in what I would like to call the shitter. Because that's where we've been for a long time. I just got, I can't imagine, like, Raphael having to fight through, like, being totally, like, lethargic. His mind must just be all over the place right now. We're going to go ahead and roast both of those. Yes. Let's bring us closer to being leveling as well. Okay. Uh, we do need to make sure that we don't, like, the rads don't get too bad for us. But they are definitely going to be having an effect on us for a while. Um, okay. Alright. So we've still got some boiled water. We could drink that. Um, might be worth us drinking it now. 
And I th have five reds just straight up, though. Cooked cram. <gasps> oh, we're back being famished. Okay, well, that's that's some good news. Let's have some water, which means we're going to take some rads, but it should help us with our thirst a little bit. Actually, yeah. Oh, no, hang on. Famished and parched. Okay, so at least um, we're doing a little bit better there. Charisma is down. Endurance is down minus four, but that doesn't mean our overall health is a little bit bigger, and you can see we're actually on 17 HP right now, which um, is going to go down very quickly because we are going to suffer the effects of the infection again rather soon. But the main thing is that we have actually, for the time being, sorted out our hunger issue. But that it is only temporary. It doesn't last forever. Okay, let's um, keep on heading this way just for a little bit longer. So, there was definitely nothing else here in this little doctoring station. Let's get that light on. Just so that we might better be able to see teddy bear traps, among other things. Okay, there we've got a chem station there. And potentially someone. Yellow trimmed plate, okay. Now, I'm tempted, I'm tempted with this chem station to actually go and leave some things here. Um, and I think we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to use this as temporary storage. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to store all of our junk there in the hopes that it doesn't go missing. We can see that we're looking a lot better already. I'm going to go ahead and take everything that's around here that we could actually use. A tuxedo. Interesting. Perception and charisma. Okay. Uh, take the combination wrench, uh, even take that plate, and same thing again, we're just going to go ahead and store all the junk in there. Um, we'll have a look and see if there is anything that we can craft and that could be potentially interesting. I don't think right off the bat, oh hello, Mollus of Cocktail, yes, yes please. It uses adhesive cloth glass, that's, I'm fine with that, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, I'll take the Molotov, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, having a look at everything else. Lantern, uh, bleed out syringe, not really anything that we want to do there. Do we want to make another bandage? You know what? I think we do. We've got enough um, of the materials to actually do it. So we might just make two, because this is also going to give us some experience. As you can see, we're close to, we're close to leveling up there. Cloth is going to be a little bit harder for us to find. But um, just just in the area that we're in at the moment. Um, I say that there's a tuxedo there. We can't break that down there. Let's keep going this way a little bit further. Turning you off because we can see some light through that door. Oh, that sounds like a ghoul. Oh, a very close ghoul. You know what? We're going to turn around for now. Okay, found. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe it's because it couldn't straight up see me. It didn't attack, potentially. Okay, so let's just have a, a quick look at the door. See if it's going to take us to... No? Oh, Copley Station. Mm. Okay, we'll keep that in mind, that Copley's up there. But I think we want to go and see where this service tunnel key leads to. Because we've already got a Federation soldier, which looks like they've been executed and or killed here. Okay, all right. I'm liking that, I was just gonna say, uh, Detect isn't going down as much, but it is still going down. Subway line, okay. Hmm. Get you on. Oh, shh. How, 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 how did I not even set that off? That is a nightmare. Okay, so, looking at this, that is just, that is all kinds of hell. There's got to be something good down there, right? Look at the place. We've got fragmentation mines, and we've got gas just for days. I really want to go down there, but in saying that, to do that, we would need to activate these, and uh, I don't want to walk over and activate them. What I would probably want to do is try and shoot one of the things in the distance and try and run, but that's also just a massive risk, uh, doing that with the shotgun, because that's going to use one of our shells to be able to do that. I don't think just throwing the caltrops would be enough to do it as well. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we just made that Molotov, right? Maybe we could just use the Molotov, because that would set off all the gas there, and then we could just turn and run. I think that's probably what we're going to do. I don't think I'm going to explore down there today, but I think I'm okay with us using the Molotov to do that. It makes me nervous as hell. It makes me super stupid nervous. Okay. 
So we've got the advanced pipe bomb, which uh, obviously is going to be more difficult for us to make. Oh, all the flare. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to... Hmm. The flare does more damage. But uh, my question still is with the flare. I feel like we need to hit someone directly. So the Molotovs, we know at the very least we can make. Okay. You ready? Go, 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 go. Okay. God, that was loud. Oh. Oh, shh. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Has it stopped? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, alright, yep, we blew up the stuff. Well, that's something for us to explore, but guys and gals, that is going to be in the next episode. <sighs> Again, a thousand apologies for losing the real episode 7, but we have had an episode 7 here, and, um, uh, well, our man is still alive for the time being. Um, now, I could sleep in one of these here, but what I think we're going to do is, uh, because it's not too far away, we are going to run back to our other little base and it's not much of a base but it's a proper bed and i believe that that bed might just give us a better chance to survive now we need to be very mindful of uh, mr teddy who's going to be up here on the left we also don't want to uh bring any friends back because we know that there are some around here it's got a little bit of a run our ap is going to come back a lot slower though so i need to be a little cautious with that wow that is slow Okay. I feel like everything that we've invested so far in this episode, you know, the Molotov, the frag grenade, I feel like it's all been worth it so far because it's got us that food that is going to keep Raphael alive just that little bit longer. And that's the aim of the game, is to survive. And really, right now, surviving that infection is the is our aim. Uh, we aren't going to be able to get medic without getting our intelligence up further. And uh, I don't know whether or not... I, I mean... It, it's so tough to decide what you are going to invest your points in in this it's not it's not an easy decision it really isn't and um while i think medic would be very very useful for us to have to be able to make those things i, th I think to actually cure ourselves of an infection we need to actually have um things beyond that i think we need to have chemist as well and that is not something that's going to be easy to do in the slightest but we are going to come back to here for now. I'm just making sure that nothing uh, terrible has happened along the way. I'm going to go ahead and close up the door. And I think we're going to do another final sleeping for six hours. In the hopes that that is going to do what we need it to. Um, we're parched, famished, lethargy, insomnia. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's gone. It's gone. It's... Oh my god. <laughs> Best episode ever. Best episode ever. The infection is gone. We have insomnia. We have lethargy. We're famished. We're parched. But the infection is gone. I'm doing big gestures with my hands right now. I know you can't tell, but it's gone. We freaking did it. He outlasted the infection. He managed to somehow build up an immunity to it. And the infection has passed. So, theoretically, if we go to sleep right now, we should be able to recover the majority of our health. Um, now that that is the case, I'm kind of playing around in my mind the idea of doing a fungal purge. Um, obviously, we'd want to have more health than what we have right now. We need to have at least 25 health to be able to do it. It's going to remove... Um, it actually says it gives us HP. It gives us 2 HP, but then takes away 25. So that's kind of strange. <laughs> it does reduce our sanity even further. Um, but right now, we don't have any other way to really get rid of um, radiation. We have some radix on us at the moment, but uh, beyond that, we don't have any other way to, to deal with it. Um, now, we can take off five at a time using the brain fungus, but that's not really an efficient way for us to do it. What I think is probably going to be the best thing for us to do will be to use those bandages now, which is going to increase the auto heal rate. So we should actually start getting some HP back over time. And I think even if we did rest now for a little bit, that would give us the HP back. Um, let's just sleep for an hour. Okay. 
All right, we didn't actually get much HP back then at all, which is a little disappointing. I would have expected us to get some back out of that, but um, increased heal rate, that's great and all, but we still only have 19 health. Um, so we could try and sleep for a more of a duration, but um, I yeah, I'm still concerned about doing that. 3 p.m. at the moment. Let's go ahead. We're going to sleep for four hours. I, I, I just want us to have enough health to actually survive Fungal Purge. Okay. That didn't really help us out too much again. We're on 28, which is literally just enough to be able to survive it, I think. Um, yeah, we're looking at minus 25 HP. Now, the only issue here, the only thing that kind of scares me is that some people have said that the Fungal Purge is bugged and it can take off more HP than it actually means to. Um, so... Here's what we'll do. This is a permutative series, but this says it's going to take off 25 HP. If it takes off more than that and we die, we will just load back because um, I consider that to be a bug. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take it. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's definitely bugged. And uh, while that's unfortunate to see, um, <laughs> we are just going to have to go back from this point here. Uh, and that's literally the only time we'll do that. If we do die because of a bug, um, then we'll then we will do that. Um, so the and just to kind of go over and explain that process again, so no one thinks that there's any kind of cheating going on here. It says minus twenty five HP. It also says it gives us two HP. So it's obviously taking off more HP than it actually intends to do because we're on twenty eight right now. So we should have been able to survive that perfectly fine. Uh, even if the other HP was actually added on to being taken off, we still should have been able to survive that. Because that's just going to put us on 27 HP minus. So we'd still have 1 HP left. Um, so I don't know how much it is actually taking off. I think I would have to do some kind of experimentation there. And I hope you don't disagree with us allowing it to reload like that. Um, just because, eh, you know, I, I, I feel like that's giving me the incorrect kind of information here. And that's, that's, we don't want that. We don't want it to end on that. But hey, if you do, let me know fervently in the comments. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I think the majority of you will be okay with us continuing on with that. Also because I stated beforehand. Uh, we're just not going to be able to take the Fungal Purge until I figure out exactly how much it does. I'm going to do some research in between episodes, see if I can figure out exactly how much it does take off. Again, a thousand apologies for the previous lack of the episode, what happened there. Unfortunately, out of my control. This one should be fine. I'm monitoring everything. It looks like everything's a OK. -okay. And it's been a hell of an episode for us. It's been a hell of an episode for Raphael. We're finally in a place where we might still have to be able to succeed. Who knows? Who knows? This is Frost after all. But guys and gals, that is going to wrap us up. Thank you all for joining me and Raphael. It is good to be back in the country. It's good to be back with Frost. And I hope you're just as on the edge as I am with this. We're now going to leave Raphael with his uh, cobbled up collection of armor in his little home under the earth. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.